Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and there are lots of cool Pokemon with cool shinies, like Rayquaza, or Metagross, or Aegislash. Then there are some cool Pokemon with bad shinies, like Garchomp, or Zebstrika, or Talonflame. And then there are a lot of not cool Pokemon with bad shinies. Too many to count. But the fourth category is one that I'm most interested in today. Not cool Pokemon with cool shinies. Today, I'm going to be listing off 50 Pokemon that I think are lame or uncool or bland or just kind of forgettable, but I think they have really nice shiny colorations. So that covers all the intro stuff, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, pretty please, I would appreciate it. And let's dive into- Ha ha, it is I, Grunty Boy. <sighs> What did you come here to steal this time, grunty boy? Nothing, actually. I'm in a good mood today, so I'm just here to show you something cool. Oh. Well, I admit I'm a bit skeptical, but what is it? It's this really fun game that's actually the sponsor of this video, Raid Shadow Legends. You sick son of a- It's this really cool RPG where you can collect champions using these shards, which is super fun since there's a massive variety on what you can get. Plus, even if you get a weak one, you can sacrifice it to boost your better ones. Then you can do all sorts of fun battling, like hopping into PvP arenas. Yes, yes, I know I am familiar with the game. Oh, you are? Well, did you know that they're always adding new champions? This is some concept art for upcoming ones. I really like the fun lizard guy. That's a chameleon. A chameleon is a type of lizard. Come on, man, I'm trying to do something nice for you. Why are you being so cranky? You really don't know? Don't know what? Know that viewers can support our channel by downloading Raid Shadow Legends using the link in the description below. And if they're a new player, they can get so many things that I can't remember them off the top of my head. And that's a Void Champion, an XP Booster, 50 Gems, some Energy Refills, and even an Ancient Shard. Goodness. And this month, Raid is releasing their biggest update ever, Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. The champion bulwark from the bonus will help you in Doom Tower a lot. Did you just say they can support our channel? Oh, come on, your viewers love me. Will they still after today? Of course they will. I'm doing them a service by informing them that they will find fun extra rewards here in their inboxes for the next 30 days only. I, I, are you done? Yes? You may leave now. Well, I know I have the right to, but I was thinking I would stick around and play for a bit longer. Out! All right, all right, I'm leaving. <sighs> Sorry about him, but anyways, Let's dive in to 50 lame Pokemon with cool shinies. Venomoth plays second fiddle to Butterfree in regards to Gen 1 Butterfly Moth Pokemon because it's substantially less cute. However, I think it has a far superior shiny. The bright blue looks so nice, and I don't just think that because I found a random one less than two badges into Let's Go. I've always disliked Execute for being just a pile of sentient eggs. I know, I know, it's supposed to be seeds or whatever. But they don't look like seeds, they look like frickin' eggs. However, I will say that having its shiny form as golden eggs is pretty spot on perfect. Yanma is a nice looking bug Pokemon, but it's pretty forgettable due to being weak prior to Yanmega being added, then just becoming a precursor to Yanmega. However, it has a beautiful blue shiny that I like a lot. I don't dislike Spinarak, but it's not a Pokemon that crosses my mind very often. Well, except when I'm thinking about Pokemon whose colors have changed, whole video about that, and look at the thumbnail. Look how freaking different Spinarak used to look. However, it does have quite a nice shiny. I think the blue body with the purple legs is a nice match. Hoppip is a bland Pokemon in my eyes. It's cute, but I don't really care much about it. I was surprised to learn though that it has a lovely, vibrant green shiny that matches its typing. And I almost wish this is what it looked like all the time. Funnily enough, Skiploom starts off as green in its regular coloring, then becomes pink in its shiny coloring. 
And while I like Hopip's shiny more, I think it's fun that the two of them switched color schemes for their shiny forms. Unfortunately, Jumpluff does not get involved. If you watched my Can You Beat Heart Gold Without Catching Any Pokemon video, then you may remember that Slugma is a disappointing Pokemon for me. It's so bad and evolves so late. However, Slugma does have a wonderful shiny, turning a beautiful luminescent silver, which reminds me of liquid mercury. Whirlpool is a pretty standard early game bug without any really distinct features in my eyes. However, it becomes a very nice purple in its shiny form, which I think looks great. Beautifly is a fine butterfly Pokemon, but will never be as iconic as Butterfree. However, I actually quite like its shiny for two reasons. The first is that the deep purple on its wings looks cool, and the second reason is that its tan body with blue eyes, while not particularly exciting, matches Silcoon's shiny coloration perfectly, which I think is awesome. Cascoon is another member of the fine but not exciting Whirlpool line, but it has a fun, vibrant green shiny. Unfortunately, Dustox didn't have the same color continuation that Silcoon and Beautifly did, so it does not have a great shiny. Masquerain is a pretty forgettable Pokemon in my opinion, but I recently discovered that I think it has a cool shiny, particularly due to how the shades of green match with the purple on its wings. I should say though, it looks much better in Gens 4 and 5 than it does in Gen 6 onwards, because the colors are very deep and bright and saturated and looks awesome. On that topic, can we talk about how incredibly tragic it is that Duskull and Dusclops' shinies went from this to this? Are you kidding me? This is, this is an outrage. Volbeat is a dumb, pointless, and very forgettable Pokemon that really doesn't serve much of a purpose. It honestly might be one of the least known Pokemon out there, but it does have a pretty sweet shiny. The purple and blue work great together. Gulpin and Swalot are fine. They're blobs that eat a lot, so nothing particularly exciting. However, they do have really nice blue shinies, which actually match each other despite being different colors in their normal forms. And I think that's really cool. I have never cared much for Soul Rock. I don't hate it, but it has always been just another this exists Pokemon to me. I do really like its shiny though. The darker body makes the new blue eyes really pop and I just love how that looks. Lyleap has never really stood out to me and is certainly not one of the cooler prehistoric Pokemon in my eyes. However, its shiny is really great, not because it looks particularly cool, but because it almost turns into a small Cradilly, and I think that's fun. Clampearl, Huntail, and Gorbis are a pretty unique line, but in my opinion, none of them are particularly cool, cute, or memorable aside from maybe Huntail a little bit. I think they end up being some of the more forgettable water types, but all of them do have pretty cool shinies. Clam Pearl turns a deep, beautiful purple, Huntail becomes a nice green, and Gorbis becomes a vibrant yellow. The entire Burmy line is pretty underwhelming and forgettable. John AKA Pokemon 7's least favorite Pokemon is actually Wormadam. While Burmy and Wormadam's shinies are barely noticeable, obviously terrible, Mothim's is freaking awesome. The electric blue looks so nice. Stunky and Skunk Tank are pretty unpopular Pokemon, intended to be skunks, but looking more like weird cats. And of course, Skunk Tank's platinum sprite is well, it's a bit much. However, I really like their shiny forms, transforming their typical poison purple to a vibrant crimson. Next up is Chatot. Or, or Chatit. Oh, I'm just now realizing Chat Parrot. It, just, it should be Chatit. I don't like how that sounds. But it doesn't matter because nobody cares about it. I'm sorry, that was harsh. I'm sure someone does. I just don't know anyone who does. It's just a weird looking parrot with an extremely annoying signature move, that being Chatter. The Pokemon is nothing special. However, it's shiny is extremely cool. The red, gold, and dark blue are an excellent combination. Watchog is one of my least favorite early route normal types due to how aggravating it is to battle in the Unova games. And by extension, I don't like Patrat very much either. However, I do quite like both of their shiny colorations. 
Hatchrat gets some really cool blue eyes, and Watchog turning crimson with a light green vest actually looks quite nice. I've never really cared that much about Mana. Never liked it, nor disliked it. It has an excellent shiny though. The yellow and green make it look like a tropical version of itself. My feelings toward Masharna are identical to Mana. I don't care about it normally, but it does have a cool shiny. I like Mana's more, but the blue on its body and the darkening of its mist to purple does look quite nice. Tranquil is part of the P-Dev line, the regional bird line that Pokemon fans pretty universally agree is the worst. However, I think it has a fun shiny. Not anything stellar, but I like seeing it turn such a vibrant green especially considering P-Dove barely changes. In that same line, female Unpheasant has a bad shiny, but male Unpheasant has a great one. It shifts the shades of its crest and torso enough to be a nod to the original, while still looking distinctly different. Swoobat is not a Pokemon I've ever liked. It's disappointingly weak, and the enormous hole in its nose has always unsettled me. It was intended to be the Unova version of Golbat, but it is inferior in basically every way in my eyes, except it has a much better shiny than Golbat. The golden yellow is very tasteful. While I like Seismitoad, Palpitoad, not so much. I've always thought it looked pretty ridiculous and too derpy, and the bumps on its head remind me too much of giant pimples. However, it does have a really cool shiny, turning teal with cool bright orange spots on its bumps, and I think those colors go really nicely together. I do not dislike Swadloon and think it's a perfectly fine Pokemon. I just don't think about it very often, if ever. However, I love its shiny. While the leaves don't change to anything interesting, its face becomes pale while its eyes are tinted a pale orange. It looks like it's been turned into a perpetually unimpressed swaddled up vampire, which is amazing. I don't think about Cottony anywhere near as much as I think about its evolution, Whimsicott, since Whimsicott is the one that gets all of the competitive play. However, Cottony deserves some props for its shiny form, which brilliantly switches the colors of its eyes and leaves. That is awesome. Garbodor is one of the most hated on Pokemon of all time. And while I don't share that hatred, it's certainly not one of my favorites. However, I do quite like its shiny. The bag part becoming more vibrant makes it seem less like it's just a broken trash bag and more of just a body pattern. Plus, I like how the spot colors change. Cryogonal is a pretty forgettable Pokemon not being particularly popular or strong and also being difficult to find in most of its appearances if it's found at all. It's got a great shiny though. The eyes changing to orange makes it look a lot more menacing, which I honestly feel like this maybe should have been the colors from the start. Heatmore is another pretty forgettable Pokemon, although I think it got a bit more recognition thanks to being included in Sword and Shield. I don't think it's very cool though, but its shiny is absolutely stellar. The red and yellow parts of its body becoming darker make it look more like a deep magma, and the darker face, wrists, and feet look like charcoal. It's a perfect color scheme for a fire type, and if this coloration was its regular coloring, I would probably like heat more quite a bit more. Scatterbug is one of the more forgettable early game bug types, especially considering it is not in any regional dexes aside from its home region of Kalos. It does have a sweet shiny though, turning bright white. Spupa is in the same situation, but it swaps the dark part of its body with the light part, and it looks really nice. I find Go-Goat to be a pretty forgettable grass type. And that's coming from a guy who used Go-Goat on his team in his first ever playthrough of Kalos. It's a fine Pokemon, but nothing special in my eyes. However, its shiny is pretty cool to me. The white and dark gray contrast nicely, and the golden horns are a nice finishing touch. While I like Dragalge, Skrelp is a goofy looking Pokemon with a weird head and snout. It is somewhat redeemed by its shiny form though. I think the pale blue and purple are a unique and nice looking match. Clauncher and Clawwitzer are not bad Pokemon, but I don't really think about them very much. There are certainly a lot of much better and cooler water type Pokemon out there. However, they have incredible shiny forms. The bright red is perfect for Pokemon inspired by reddish pistol shrimp. And the blue and white accents fit so well. I love these shinies. 
Gorgies. I've never really cared for Pumpkaboo or Gorgeist. I have no issues with them, but they don't really fit my style. However, their shiny forms are brilliant. Changing their colors to purple and black, the two colors most associated with Halloween besides orange, is genius. And I think the black jack-o'-lantern part of Gorgeist looks really awesome. Crabominable is a sin against nature and should never have been created. Or at the very least, it should have been made far less ugly. However, I have to admit, the shift from blue to reddish orange on parts of its body looks pretty sweet. Oricorio is not a memorable or popular Pokemon in my eyes. I don't have any issues with it, but its gimmick is overall pretty underwhelming and uninteresting. I never did anything with it besides getting one for the Pokedex. While I don't feel strongly about most of its shiny forms, its Bylay style shiny looks fantastic to me. As Charizard has proven, black and red look really cool together. Bruxish is one of the ugliest Pokemon ever created, and I don't know a single person who likes it. I certainly can't stand the sight of it, unless it's shiny, where the fun, vibrant colors help its image a little bit. Thievil is pretty underwhelming for me, being pretty weak and uninteresting. And also I don't like its mustache. However, the silver coloring of its shiny form, amusingly turning it into a silver fox, looks pretty sweet. Gossifleur is a pretty bland grass type in my eyes, essentially being a different shaped and sized vile plume. However, its shiny is excellent, giving it a fun wild berry Skittles color scheme that I think looks really cool. And the final Pokemon is Stone Journer. And I should be clear that I like Stone Journer, but I know it's overall pretty unpopular, so I'm including it in this video. Its shiny form swaps the light gray and dark gray parts of its body, and the result is a Stone Journer that looks more fearsome and older and wise, which is fun considering how cute and silly its face is. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon who are helping support my channel independent of fluctuating YouTube ad rates. If you can help support me in the same way, the link is in the description below. Also, if you wanna check out some more of my fun Pokemon content, I recommend these videos here. All right, that's all I have for now. So until next time, events. Gotta catch them all.